So we are discussing how to write a chemical formula of the compounds and we discuss if it's a simple metal and non-metal, if it's a transition element and other non-metal or it can be a molecular ion. So for the molecular ion, that is important. Uh, you learn the formula as well as the charge. So it is hydroxide. It can be nitrate. It's not in order. It can be like you can learn in any order. Nitrite, sulfate, sulfite. Uh, carbonate, phosphate, hydrogen carbonate, and ammonia. So the charge as well as the formula. If it is hydroxide, it's OH minus one. Nitrate is NO3 minus one. Nitrite is NO2 minus one. Sulfate is SO4 minus two. Sulfide is SO3 minus two. Carbonate is CO3 minus two. Phosphate is PO4 minus three. Hydrogen carbonate is HCO3 minus one and ammonium is NH4 plus one. You have to learn the formula as well as yeah I just in the last session uh, I mentioned all of them but because I will use them again that's why I'm writing again so if I want to write a chemical formula and another thing like example if I say I want to write aluminium nitrite IDE. Look, from the name you can understand nitride is there. So if it is IDE, it means they're asking for element only. Like aluminium nitride means they're asking for aluminium and nitrogen. Aluminium valency is plus three and nitrogen is minus three. When we simplify three and three, so it is one is to one. So aluminium nitride formula will be Al n what if it is it was aluminium nitrate so aluminium nitrate aluminium is al with a valency plus three and nitrate is no3 with a valency minus one so when valencies are not same we cross multiply the formula for aluminium nitrate will be al no3 in a bracket three and if it was aluminium nitrite so what is the difference between them Al aluminium nitrite id it means element nitrogen but if it is nitrate it means that element nitrogen is with oxygen because sometimes student when it is written aluminium nitrite they just write no2 So if it is aluminium nitride, ITE, so aluminium is Al plus three and nitride, as you can see, it is NO2 minus one, we cross multiply. So what the formula will be Al NO2 in a bracket three. So this is a formula for aluminium nitride, aluminium nitrate and aluminium nitrite. So whenever ID is there, a lone ID is there, it means they're asking for that element valency. But if it is nitrate or nitrite, then the part which you have learned that their valency you have to use and write the formula. Is it clear? So these are the valencies which you have to memorize along with the formula.
I'll give another example. If I say I want to write a formula for aluminium sulfide. So aluminium sulfide. Because ID is there, it means they are asking for sulfur element and they are asking for element, aluminium. So aluminium and sulfur element. So what we have to do, we have to check the valency from periodic table, aluminium, aluminium is group 3, so it will be plus 3 and sulfur is group 6, so it will be minus 2. So when we write the formula for aluminium sulfide, aluminium is plus 3 and sulfur is minus 2, it is already simplified. You cannot further simplify this aluminium sulfide. It is sulfide, sulfur. Sulfur uh, chemical symbol is S. So what we do, we cross multiply. This 2 with the sulfur will come with aluminium and this 3 with aluminium will come with sulfur. So the formula for aluminium sulfide will be Al2 S3. But if you want to write a chemical formula for aluminium sulfate. So aluminium is there, the element aluminium is there, that is Al. But what about sulfate? The valency of a sulfate is minus 2 and its formula is SO4. So sulfate is SO4 with a charge minus 2. So what we do, we simplify, it is already simplified, so we cross multiply. This 2 will come with aluminium and 3 will come with sulfate. So what will be the chemical formula for aluminium sulfate? Al2 SO4 in a bracket 3. The difference here, it's sulfur element alone, but in sulfate, it means the difference between sulfide and sulfate. The sulfide means sulfur element, you can see S. And sulfate means sulfur is connected with oxygen and with a formula SO4. So sulfate means sulfur connected with 4 oxygen and having a valency of minus 2. But sulfide means sulfur element alone, which is having a valency of minus 2. So formula is different. You can see for aluminium sulfide, this is Al2S3, but aluminium sulfate is Al2SO4 in a bracket 3. If it is aluminium, yes, Abdullah? Sir, how do you get sulfate? How? One. Sorry? Yes, sir, how do you write minus 2? How I write minus 2 for sulfate or sulfide? Sulfide, it should be minus 1. When you check the group, it belongs to group 8, uh, group 6. Sulfur. Here is sulfur and it belongs to group 6. So group 1 is plus 1, group 2 is plus 2, group 3 is plus 3, minus 4, minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 so it belongs to group 6 oxygen sulfur selenium they are all minus 2 is it clear yes sir so uh, and you can if you don't remember you can use the formula uh, valency is equals to group number minus 8 you can work out the valency for group 4 onwards
if i want to write a chemical formula for aluminium sulfide it so aluminium is al with a charge plus 3 and sulfide is so3 with a charge minus 2 or 2 minus valencies are already simplified so what we do we simply cross multiply them so when we cross multiply 2 will come with aluminium and 3 will come with sulfide ion so the formula for aluminium sulfide is al2 so3 in a bracket 3 Uh, not necessary eight means four oxygen it can be any number like but it means that element eight and eight means the element is connected with oxygen but that number is does not means it can be four it can be three as you can see here nitrate in nitrate it's eight and three oxygen are there carbonate three oxygen are there so it's not fixed that eight means three or four oxygen and the best thing you memorize these valencies with a formula so aluminium sulfide means aluminium with sulfur aluminium sulfate means aluminium sulfur oxygen and aluminium sulfide also means aluminium sulfur and oxygen but in sulfate it is so4 but in sulfide it is so3 is it clear to everyone anyone having a doubt any question or a doubt till now because uh, next i will ask everyone to state the chemical formula now another example what is the chemical formula i want everyone to use the chat and participate in this uh, what is the chemical formula for sodium hydroxide i will give you a hint sodium belongs to group 1 and symbol is na what is the chemical formula for sodium hydroxide i am writing the valencies also yeah what will be the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide you can use a chat or you can use a screen annotation to state the answer your yeah, noh and symbol for sodium is capital n and is small a so when you write it should be small a capital n small a and then oh but it is okay right now as you are typing so maybe uh, you have uh, caps lock on that's why it all appear to be capital but it's okay let's write formula for sodium hydroxide is noh others also should participate saim mohammad hatim abdullah khan what is the chemical formula for calcium hydroxide the chemical formula of calcium hydroxide i am giving you a hint calcium is ca with a charge plus 2 and hydroxide is minus 1 the chemical formula for calcium hydroxide you can use a chat or you can use screen annotation to state the answer
it's calcium calcium is ca yeah that's right uh, yes right there should be a bracket right uh, uh, this is right for because you are writing for calcium maybe a typing mistake but it is ca so calcium hydroxide this one is with hydroxide will come with calcium and two is with calcium will come with hydroxide So it should be CA here. Another, if you, I want to write a chemical formula for magnesium carbonate. Magnesium carbonate. Magnesium is Mg group 2 with a charge plus 2 and carbonate is CO3 with a charge minus 2. So what is the formula of magnesium carbonate? Don't forget to simplify because the first step after writing the valency you must simplify the valencies and then cross multiply. Carbonate. Carbonate is CO3. So it is MgCO3. That's right, but as you can see, because there is only one carbonate. As you can see, there's only one carbonate. So when it's one, we don't have to put this bracket. Like if it was two or three carbonates, then we have to put the bracket. When you cross multiply, it will come out as MgCO3. This is right, but don't put these brackets as it is not needed in case of one carbonate ion. Yeah, that's right, MgCO3. Another example, if I want to write a chemical formula for iron 3, the Roman 3, sulfate. So iron 3 sulfate, iron is Fe. And this 3 is actually the charge of the iron. So iron is Fe, which is plus 3. And sulfate is SO4 with the charge minus 2. So what will be the chemical formula for iron 3 sulfate? The chemical formula for iron 3 sulfate. Yeah, that's good, Abdullah. Because 3 and 2 are already further simplified, it is simplified. So, this will 2 will be with iron and 3 is with sulfate. So, it will be Fe2SO4 in a bracket, 3 which shows iron 3 sulfate. Ammonium. If we have another compound such as ammonium, chloride or ammonium sulfide. So ammonium, ammonium you don't find in a periodic table, it's a molecular ion which is NH4. So for ammonium, we will write NH4 and its charge is plus one. 
and sulfide id is is there it means sulfur only and sulfur belongs to group 6 so it is minus 2 so what will be the chemical formula for ammonium sulfide the chemical formula for ammonium sulfide sulfide sulfur not chlorine sulfur so because it's a nine when you cross multiply this two is with sulfur so that will come with ammonium and this one is with ammonium will come with sulfur so because it's a molecular ion so when two or three are there we put in a bracket so it will be nh4 in a bracket to ns yeah, that's right so ammonium sulfide this is the right way as it should be in a bracket is it clear the formula of ammonium sulfide any doubt in this so this is how we work out the formulas of the compound so if any compound is given to you you can work out by using this simple technique example magnesium nitride is formed when magnesium burns in air magnesium nitride is ionic compound what is the formula of magnesium nitride what is the right answer magnesium is group 2 and nitrogen is group 5 what is the right answer for magnesium nitride so magnesium nitride mg3 and n2 so d will be the it's nitride because nitride it means element only if it was nitrate or nitride then it means that's not the element that means element with oxygen so the correct answer for this one is d okay the formula of some ions are shown so they give you the positive ion and they give you the negative ion in which row formula is not correct aluminum sulfate is the formula correct for aluminum sulfate so you can work out how you can work out you the valency for aluminum is given and valency for sulfate is also given so when we cross multiply this two will come with aluminum and three with sulfate so it will be al2 so4 in a bracket three so aluminum sulfate formula is given correctly calcium nitrate so calcium nitrate calcium is plus 2 and nitrate is minus 1 so we cross multiply ca no3 in a bracket two so calcium nitrate is also correct iron 3 bromide So iron three, iron is plus three, and bromide is minus one. Or so when you cross multiply, iron three bromide formula should be FeBr three. But here it is written wrong. And about C potassium sulfide, so potassium is plus one, and sulfide means sulfur, which is minus two. So when you cross multiply, it should be K2S. So D is also correct. So correct the formula which is not correct. that is option c is it clear this part so this was topic about how to write a chemical formula so this week we discuss writing a chemical formula and identifying so basically we completed this objective the, about the bonding and structure uh, the difference between element mixture compound and metal and non metal and describe an alloy such as brass that we discussed yesterday and today we discuss how to write a chemical formula of different types of compounds any question or a doubt 
related to the class today? Because the other topic is a different one. So I will start in the next session. That's why I will end the session now. Any question or a doubt related to the class? So next week we will discuss about ionic ions and ionic bonding. The difference between NO3 and NO2, actually their structures are different. It's like how many oxygens are attached. In NO3, even though the, char the charge is same, in NO3, the charge is minus one, NO2 also the charge is minus one. But what is the difference? Because their structures are different as it contains three oxygen and this contains two oxygen. So this is about the structure is different and that you will learn in a levels that why they both have different structures but they have the same charge or the valency. <clears throat>